In this video, we will take a look at the responsive property that high charts gives to us. With the responsive property on options objects, you can change certain properties of your chart when certain conditions are met. So the way this works is you define responsive property on the options object. It is itself an object as well. In here, you would have rules uh, property. Rules will accept a, an array of rules. Each rule can be defined as an object. So in here, you would uh, specify your first rule, if it's one, or there can be many rules. So first, let's set the condition of our rule. So this rule would be applied when max width is 500 pixels. When that condition is met, certain chart options would be changed. So that would be defined with chart options property. For example, let's say we want to disable legend when user views our charts on a mobile phone. Enabled false. So now this is done. We'll go here, refresh, and we see no legend with the mobile view, but if I toggle device toolbar and get our view back, we will see that the legend is right back. But when we see it on a smaller screen, there is no legend. Another thing that we could do is to turn off the title of the y-axis so it wouldn't take up extra space. Okay, so let's see, and now we don't have the title. One more thing about the condition and which rules you can apply. You can have max width as we used. We can have max height, min width, and min height. So that would be min height, min width, and max height. Other than that, there is one more property uh, on this condition that you can use, and that is called callback. This callback would be called when the condition is applied. So this way you can check for certain things whether you want to apply this condition or not. And in case you do want, you would return true. It's as simple as that. What uh, what will you check in this callback? I don't have really any useful examples right now, but it might be useful for some of you. So now we have this callback. Let's see it returned false. And now we go to our chart. We refresh it. And now you see uh, the condition did not apply because we returned false. In case you would have something here to check and then you would return true based on whatever condition you have, then you would return true and that would be, and that would work. So this is it for responsive property of the high charts. You can have as many rules here as you want for max, for different max width, for max heights, and you can change your chart depending on your circumstances, or whichever way you like. In chart options, there would be any properties you can use here, any properties that you would use here in the normal options object, it's, it, it would be the same. And this is it for the responsive high charts property.